Hello everyone, this is Anza, back with another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, last time we finished up looking around, and it ended up that Red, White, of Blue Corp ended up changing his mind and is now going to testify in court. But he has decided that it's no longer Maya who was the one who was the killer. It's us, so... Yeah, okay. Okay. So Edgeworth is saying that he will do anything to get his verdict and that anything Red says is the absolute truth. The guilty always lie to avoid being find out, found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. So it seems that we know Edgeworth from somewhere before. But Edgeworth is saying he's not going to give us any sort of special treatment even though we, because he, we know him. Okay, so just as we had Mia by her by her side, um, in the last case, it seems that we have Maya with us now, and we since we're being now we're since now we're the one being tried for the murder, we have decided to defend ourselves. Um, hmm. Should we object? Nah. Okay. Holy bling. Hate this guy. Absolutely hate him. Um L O C L O C U T I O U. Oh, no, it. L U C L O C U T I O N S. Okay. I can't find it. Okay. <laughs> it is funny listening to them go, well, watching them go back and forth. Blanco Nino is the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim is Mia Fey? Negatory. 
No, I did not. So he's claiming he did not know Mia. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm... Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? I hope you've made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Okay. Uh... So Okay. Let's see. It was about nine, I believe. I was I was quietly pursuifying, or that's reading to you some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say that. None. That man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. Victim. She she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a terrible impactation. Then it was all over. Hmm. Okay, let's uh, read through these again. It's about 9 p.m. Reading. Bedlam. Surprised. Specky haired man. None other. Called Miss May. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. So. We heard earlier from Miss May that Mia ran to the right, I believe. So let's see if he's going to slip up and say, like, left or something. I understand. Okay. Wait a minute. So we got May's testimony. Victim dodged an attack and then ran to the right, but she was uh, caught and struck. This is contradictory to, like, exactly contradictory to what he's saying. Dug your own grave. He said the victim ran to the left. The right contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated that the victim ran to the right. It is simple. You have misunderstood her. I think not. Look at the floor plans. Killer victim. She would have been running directly away from the door. Into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Okay, that beats Edgeworth's um, uh, like starting to break down. Sprite, that that's the best sprite in the game so far. I did see her run to the left, I did. Okay. Um they're both right. He's the killer. Okay. What do you mean? Yeah, 
Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. He's not in the hotel. Where could he have been? In the law offices of Van Co, of course. He was standing here. Nah, it doesn't line up properly. Nah. It's off center. This is where he was. Look, the victim ran for the door. He's watching from this point. To him, it would appear that she ran to the left. And this is the where the, the that is where the killer was standing. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rough scallion. The prosecutions of the de postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Did they do seem a bit far fetched? There's so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. He's laughing. The hilarity of the moment, maybe you remember something. It appears I have been unclear. For this, I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, <laughs> might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Okay. Ms. May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she ran to the left, and then you hit her, savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the loss of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her, delivered the final blow. Wait a minute, she was hit one time. Not two. You hit her twice. No, we didn't. Um, blow from a blunt object. Um, okay. Yeah, wait, so let's take a look. Uh, Mia's autopsy report died from a blow from a blunt object. Okay. I think it's, uh, we should present it on that last one. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. No, we didn't. So hard not to laugh just seeing that. Justice, don't let him get away. Okay, so the two accounts. Let's see. I'm well, see, I looked out the window at the other window when I heard that thing fall. When then the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you did her in with a single, single blow. Thwap. What's thwap? Uh, 
I don't think that a massive metal and possibly like concrete clock makes a sound the sound of thwap that thing fall what exactly was that thing that um the glass light stand right the one that had fallen over at the scene doesn't something strike you as odd yeah saying you saw the glass light stand. Yes? Then change your testimony to reflect that. Um... What? That makes no sense. So... Broken beyond all recognition. Let's try this. It was impossible for you to have seen the light stand. Why? Oh my god. With that, with what? And that sprite? Oh, that's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Just by seeing the broken pieces, you would have no idea that it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it that you saw this light stand? Isn't it obvious I saw the sand before it fell over? Hmm. Yeah, that'd be a pretty big problem. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Proof. Let's take a look. Wait a minute. Yeah, the it's in the bottom left corner. There's no way. Look at this. These are the floor plans of the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through the window at the office, this is the area you would have been able to see here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. <laughs> Ridiculosity. If you were in the Gatewater Hotel, as you claim, you could not have seen the stand before it fell over. You wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell over, either. Must have been the moment that it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law Offices. Or you could have seen it, you know, in the window as it, like, fell, but... Um...